party. Oh, yeah. Hello, a teen house, February looking, it's looking good. Um, well, you guys will definitely get the beta. It's actually looking good. It's really looking good. I'm really excited. The replays and all that stuff is already fixed. By the way, everybody here, well, there's quite some people, actually, there's not that many people here. How many people are here? About a hundred. Are you guys looking forward to Clash of Streamers or you don't give a shit? Any bottlenecks? Um... Actually not, there is no bottlenecks. All the scary shit has been fixed. Did you spectate all players gameplay and did you improve stuff based on what you saw? Yes, we did. We did spectate quite some games. What's, we're just fixing bugs. There's nothing to left to do. We're just fixing and improving the stability of the game. That's all we're doing. Just fixing bugs. We haven't added jack shit. Actually, we haven't added anything since October last year. So we got literally October, November, December, January, February. This for five months we've just been fixing bugs. And really advanced. Huh? We're really very far in the bug fixing process. Yeah. To be honest, reviews will make me want to play. Anyone, what do you guys think? Who played this game? Come on, tell me. Give me some feedback. What do you guys think about the game? Come on, spit it out. Spit it out. Spit it out, guys. Spit it out. You guys can tell me. Come on, spit it out. Say it. More stable than Cyberpunk, but that's not so hard, though. I'm not into mobile games, but it seems like a milking machine. Yeah, that's that's for sure. But does anyone actually, because I remember when I came out with the beta really initially, like quite some people were really addicted to the game. And now, yeah, I guess the people that really have played the game over and over again don't care so much. Yeah. Did you hear that Tesla like converted 1.5 billion into Bitcoin? Yeah, I heard. I think Bitcoin is really gonna crash hard. There's a pop-up now and again. Yeah, like, like we will, we will these pop-ups will be less frequent, but it's basically purchases. Yeah.
Yeah, the gas fees are really crazy, I know. It's really crazy. I know, I know the gas fees are insane. Oh, I think I think crypto like Ethereum and Bitcoin is in a very, 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 very uh volatile state. Man oh man, people are gonna cry. The bump now Bitcoin got because Elon Musk put 1.5 billion and like it's hype for a day, but man, oh man, it's going to start going. It's going to start tanking like crazy. The hype is, is less crazy than last time. I don't know if you know what happened last time. Bitcoin went from 20K back to 2K or something or 3K. I think shit is really going to hit the fan. Yeah. I also think purpose and Duby might really be deteriorating to the to the I know people will say I'm crazy, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised the purpose and do we really, if it goes crazy, will be the, the crypto people everybody goes to. Or do you see that happen? Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Why would purpose and be the crypto? Because it's high, 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 high reward, low risk. I mean, imagine like something like Bitcoin that only goes up and doesn't go down. That's fucking insane. That's on steroids. And Tin, I want to ask you why you made both Purpose and Duby usable in G4G shop instead of making only Duby a spendable coin and Purpose only for minting. Um, it's a good question, but the, the best answer to that is because I wanted people to spend more. If you can only spend Duby, people would spend so much less in gaming for, uh, in, on Clash of Streamers. Yeah. The gas fees are ridiculous, but uh, I, I think gas fees will drop. They have to drop. They will drop. Yeah, they will actually drop. Yeah. I can't wait for the game to come out. 
I hope the crypto the crypto hype will still be there once the game comes out because shit will really hit the fan then. But yeah, it's going to be for sure the case like that. Yeah. I think lots of people will make shit tons of money with purpose, then play the game and get milked with all the cash they made. Actually, Cole, that's not fully accurate because I think putting quite some cash into Clash of Streamers is a smart strategy because you can export heroes. And I do think if the game has, if the game becomes big, right, the, 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 the heroes that people export will be worth so much money, a lot more the price will increase a lot more than uh, than purpose and doobie will um, but of course might not be the case I, i'm not sure but i think it could go because crypto kitties i mean if you buy a crypto kitty for like a few ether and then sell them for 100x that's just insane huh? and that literally happened huh? if you have really rare streamers on the blockchain people will eat that shit up like crazy actually So yeah. Is there anyone, by the way, thinking of applying that is watching right now? Is the guy who wanted to pay for a small video clip for his buddy that he used? I don't get what you mean with that. There is a guy coming over in two days from now, 11th February. Really nice. I can see why Purpose will go up a lot if the game does well. I just don't really believe that Purpose Doobie will be one of the new main cryptos as most people just don't really care about mobile games. Also, I don't think most people are really so busy with the background of each crypto such as your buy supply wall, etc. It's too complicated for them. Man, it's actually very easy. It just goes up. Nobody cares. It's actually going to go cray cray. What do you volunteers do, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Some do practical, some code, some do QA, some do air tests, some do design docs, uh, some do design. There is something for everyone. I'm glad someone new guy comes over. I'm actually glad about it. I like it when new people come over. I really like it.
When got him someone to pay you for making a small video for his buddy bachelor party, he probably doesn't he have Discord. I didn't even see it. Does anyone really believe that these coins will be one of the main cryptos lol? Thomas, I actually I don't see it as unlikely in the next couple of years, two years, purpose and Duby will become uh not just one of the main cryptos, will just crash crash everything else. We'll just stomp everything. And you might say like except Ether because they're tied into Ether as well. You might say, why man? That just sounds like fucking bananas. Because the concept is genius. The math adds up and uh and there is a demand for it. It it will really be the the crypto. Yeah, people will see it as the crypto. Holy grail of crypto. Yeah, it should be Ethereum 2.0 or another chain. That's true. Because right now the fees, it's just ridiculous. The fees make it really, really, yeah. But 2.0, when is it actually coming out? I have no clue when it comes out, but yeah. Don't you think like applying Dubai sell well concept to a platform like Uniswap? Oh, people will just, like a lot of people will just use DBX. People will just know like, oh yeah, you go to DBX, you get yourself purpose. That's what's going to happen. We don't even need any other fucking exchanges. We don't need any other exchanges, but they will list it though. They will list it for sure. They will list it and people will make quite some money. Because people will be buying, yeah. Will you remain with Ether or are you considering other change? Right now we will remain, we will see later on. Are some coders still out of work at the compound? Well, people are running out all the time. We're, we're distributing stuff. A lot of people are going to be running out actually in the next couple of days. Yeah. I really want to invest in purpose, but I keep, you keep changing the release date. What is going on? You just get purpose when you believe in the projects. You know what I find really crazy, right? But I guess people are just not so aware of it. If you download the game and you see the state it is in, to to achieve that with people that just came over. And if you didn't check other games like AFK Arena, this is a fucking, this is a gold mine to explode. And you're just sitting there and then getting purpose, uh, they getting Bitcoin or Ethereum because it's mooning and then it crashes and you go start crying while you can just get purpose and whatever. It's just crazy. How many cards are left? Can actually check that, I think. Let me quickly check. Uh, 
Um, Eight hundred, eight hundred cards. Yeah. Now, why does this guy keep spamming random shit? It's insane the amount of work. Yeah, but people don't realize it. When will purpose do we be deployed in third world countries? We will. We will start. As soon as the pandemic is over, we will start some really good projects. But now with the pandemic, it's really fucking hard. It's just fucking hard. Yeah, we got to fix the, the, the gas fees. The gas fees make it... We will fix it, though. We will fix it. But the gas fees are just way too high right now. We will, we will find a solution. We will find a solution. How do you motivate people when they are working so long on the game? How do I motivate people? If you come over to have an impact in the world and you, like coding is really fun, you know, things are very nicely pre-chewed for you. You get a nice to do and checklist and you're just constantly in a flow. It's very nice to be able to just wake up and code. I would love to do that myself. So yeah. Coding is very satisfying. You always work and they also see that their features work and everything. So it's not like uh, you don't see results of your products or whatever. It's very powerful. We you try to represent a 30% cut on every transaction from the app? No, you can't. That's not allowed. We would get insta banned if we would do that. Hmm. But yeah. Yeah. G4G shop is 100% fine. You're allowed to have a shop as long as you don't promote it in the game.
Of course, you know, but all all things you, you're allowed to like Netflix. If you buy Netflix on the website, you don't have to pay thirty percent to Apple, right? Yeah, it's it's really nice. People will use all the whales will use gaming for good. All crypto whales will use gaming for good. Yeah, we circumvent everything there. Well, circumvent you burn the purpose. We don't get it. Huh? You just burn it. Yeah. That's, it's not the case, like you are allowed, like people don't realize it, right? And it, like, it's just, we know the entire TOS in and out of Apple and Google. Um, we comply legally on every single ground when it comes down to crypto as well. What people don't realize is that I have a big target on my back I cannot do anything that is dodgy. I just can't or I would get instantly fucked. Everything has to be, you know, really airtight. And that's the thing, like, every single game is allowed to have purchases outside the game as long as they don't redirect or promote it within the game. Like, actual promoting it within the game. You can't do that. Fortnite got in trouble, not because you could go to uh, and buy stuff on the Fortnite website but because they actually had a store in ios where you could buy in the game itself that's why Fortnite got in trouble if you buy the atom of g4g it's it's just burned the purpose is just burnt it's gone Make sure the YouTube video of how to use DBX is not showing the game. We're allowed to do that. If, if you go, if you browse on the YouTube app, right? If you go to the YouTube app, right? And you browse and you look for uh, uh, how to buy stuff on, on Google and you find the video, they're not, they're not getting censored. I mean, the videos can be perfectly in the game. They will just not be featured and promoted. But if you look for it, you can find it. Yeah. This maybe this was already answered, but with the purple screen of death during embedded streams be a problem inside your mobile game. It doesn't happen in the mobile game. People have tested it, it doesn't happen. It's because we use specific uh, web browser integration. Yeah.
Yep, 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 yep. Logging in the beta with an account is not possible at the moment. It is actually possible. Uh, but in very specific cases, it's not working right now. Is there actually still people playing daily the beta? Can you guys, anyone here that plays the, the beta still daily or nobody? Stop playing because I couldn't log in. Let's see. The progress will be bananas. The way it's going to work. The next beta is going to be really, really sick. Yeah. Well, the next beta, a lot of people play the next beta. Because the next beta, what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, we're going to also mass mail everyone and everything. We're going to have, I think, 500 people active player base. Well, active. 500 people play it. It's already all, all fixed panics. Everything is already approved. Everything is ready to go. Which is really sick, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. It's really fucking nice. You think purpose can reach thousand dollars just from the game? Yeah, easy. It doesn't even need the game, by the way, to get to thousand dollars. I already said it. If if Twitch wouldn't have banned me and I could have kept talking about purpose, it would all, we, the the market would already be between. I already said it between. I think between ten million and a billion dollars, if not more. It would have gone bananas. With a viewer base of 300 people, I like, like, it was dinging like crazy. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to be calling it a day here, guys. I'm going to be calling it a day. Um, yeah, people that want to come over, apply, people that want to try out the game, here's a link and uh, get yourself that sweet ass purpose. Can people link the videos? Check it out. You will regret it. If you don't, check it out, the videos and uh, check out DBX as well. We're about to ding again on DBX, which is quite crazy. So yeah, people can link it. Anyone link? Anyone has the links? Nobody? There is to be X. Yeah. Oh yeah. Keep it up, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.